When you have so much mental diarrhea, how can you have energy? <laughs> Suppose you have diarrhea, do you see how weak you feel? <laughs> right now this mental diarrhea, that's why people have no energy. They want to just eat and sleep all the time because mental diarrhea is very exhausting. If you have physical diarrhea, you know how exhausting it is. <laughs> this is also equally exhausting. People are sleeping eight hours, ten hours a day, not because they're working so much or their body is in such a bad state, it's just mental diarrhea. If you stop the mental diarrhea, there's enough energy to make this very, very intense. Now how do I stop mental diarrhea? If you have diarrhea, physical diarrhea, as a corrective measure, what is the first thing you do? First thing is stop eating, right? Diarrhea means in some way we've eaten something that the body doesn't want. It's trying to throw it out. You've taken something inside which the body doesn't like, it wants to throw it out. First thing is stay away from food for some time. You eat bad food and then try to stop diarrhea, it's not going to work. So similarly, bad food for the mind is just this. You have gotten identified with things that you are not. The moment you get identified with things that you are not, mental diarrhea is inevitable. It's bad food for the mind. Now it will run endlessly, do what you want. You do any damn meditation, you say Shiva, Rama, it's not going to stop. Because bad food is being eaten every day, you're getting identified with more and more things and you want to stop your mind, you do whatever kind of circus, it is not going to stop. You tell your mind that I am this, I am this, I am that, I am that, it's having diarrhea. You stop giving it wrong food. Even if you do not know what is me, at least you know what is not me, isn't it? If you disidentify with everything, if you understand what is you and what is not you, if you keep a little distance from that, mind will become still. Tonight before you go to bed, sit on your bed and discount everything that is not you. This house in, your, in which you're living, is this me? No. This loving parent or mother, father, wife or husband or child, they're wonderful, but is this me? No. Now these nice clothes I'm wearing, is this me? No. Now my body, I like it, but is this me? No. Now I'm having so many thoughts, is this me? No. Now I'm having wonderful emotions, is this me? No. Like this, everything that's not you, before you sleep, keep it down and go to bed. Tomorrow morning, you will wake up considerably more intense than today. Every day you do it, in a little while, if you simply sit here, things around you will reverberate. The only sadhana that I did in my life is, right from my very early age, though I was very actively involved with everybody around me, I never identified myself with my parents or my siblings or my endless number of friends or the society or the religion or the country or anything around me, never identified. Not that I was not involved, I was very involved, very active. Even today I'm very active and involved, but not identified. If you don't identify with anything, there is enough energy in this to become intense.